Hello, this is Paul Chapman and welcome to another video tutorial on the Word Bible software. Today I'm going to go through version 4 of the program, a great new feature called the, the Bible Reading Plans. Now this uh, feature can be brought up in a couple of different ways. Um, firstly, just the daily reading dialog, which if it doesn't open automatically, it can you can be set up to do so. Um, as you see, I just click the, uh, the uh, daily reading dialog icon up here on the toolbar or I can go to tools and select daily readings and that will bring it up as well. Um, the startup options you can set this to show uh, a number of different ways either once a day or if there's an unscheduled reading or every time the program starts or else never show up on the program startup. So that's a few different ways of bringing up this dialog box. Now uh, as you can see here I have no daily readings set up. The first two sections deal with Bible readings. The last section here deals with devotional readings. That is a uh, non-biblical uh, uh, not that, that is non-biblical authors. Um, so, so for example um, uh, Spurgeon's Morning and Evening uh, devotional uh, book that might appear here. Now to get some plans showing up here in this dialogue, um, I need to create them. So I don't have any plans right now. So how do I do that? Well, I've got a link here to create a new Bible reading plan. I can also create a Bible reading plan by going File, New Bible Reading Plan. Now, um, in this dialogue that opens up, I've got two options. I can choose a predefined reading plan or create a customized reading plan by myself. Now, I'm going to choose a predefined reading plan. Uh, so let's just go through that. Now, the Word comes with uh, six templates by default. These are six reading plans that are, need to be set up initially in your program for you to access them. So the, uh, verses, the, verses, uh, the verses that correspond to each plan are already included here in these templates. So let's just set one of them up. Now, it was interesting. Someone asked, can I get a chronological Bible in the King James, King James Version, for, for example, uh, in the Word Bible software? Well, maybe. No, there's no chronological Bible in the, King, in the King James Version. But you can set up the Bible reading plan, which might suffice. So chronological Bible reading plan in the year. Now, there's a difference between the chronological plan and the... Bible reading plan in historical order in a year. Chronological means that the actual date that the uh, the record in the biblical text was written down. Okay, so it's an order of, of uh, recorded history, whereas the historical uh, order is actual uh, lineal time frame. So in other words, when did this event take place in history? That's uh, that's the historical Bible reading plan. So depending on how you want to go through your Bible, I'm going to go through uh, chronological in one year. So I'll choose that reading plan. And these plans, by the way, there's about six of them here. Uh, genres, that is seven genres a week, uh, reading through the Bible in a year. You've got 31 days with Jesus, uh, a, a great Bible reading plan for new Christians. Uh, 31 days, again, with, for new Christians. And the Old Testament uh, by once and the New Testament twice in a year and that's that's another plan there as well so these are plans that were prepared initially by uh, Dr. Richard J. Crazier who kindly uh, gave permission for the word to include them in the program so um, let's uh, look at the chronological uh, Bible reading plan I'm going to go next now here in this next screen I can now set up when I want to start my plan do I want to tie it with a calendar that is do I want each reading session, that is each selection of verses I'm going to read in one reading session, do I want those tied to a particular day on the calendar? If I do, I just leave it as here. I can choose which day. Um, drop down list here. I can choose when I want to start this. I might just start it today. And then I can choose how often I want to read. Do I want to read every day or every weekday? Or let me choose. Of course, if you're doing it every day, you're going to get through the Bible in a year. If you choose, say, not every day, weekday, but perhaps every second day, then you're going to take a bit longer to get through the Bible than a year. So these plans, because this actual template corresponds to a year, I'm going to choose, sorry, I'm going to choose every, every day, I should say, every day. So there we have it there. Now I can preview the plan by clicking this little link here, and there you go. There's my uh, date, and there's the, the session, the reading session, and the passage that's selected, and you can see the list given there. A couple of times I've got uh, in a couple of the sessions, or quite a few sessions, have more than one passage for the for that day. So uh, it just gives you an idea of how you're going to be going through the Bible uh, for the chronological uh, plan template. So there we go. Um, I click now next, 
and I give it a name. So I'm going to call this chronological order. I'm going to just call it calendar. So I know it's tied to a calendar. Um, I've got the name there and the path. I can choose where I want to store this. At the moment, it's um, going to be stored in the default path, which is your uh, underneath your um, app module resources. So app data, I should say, roaming the word. Uh, and under the word you, it's going to store it here so if ever you do uh, move the program or you know change computers you want to make sure that if you've got any plans set up you go to this directory to um, uh, copy those plans from and over to your new uh, dire directory that you're storing this, the word in so I'm going to just leave it like that create my reading plan and yes I haven't got it displaying in the window yet so I want to do yes I do want to display it and there I have it so there you go. There's my reading plan all set up ready for me to go. So just looking at this screen now, um, this is now a new book view. And as I said before, this in the previous tutorials, I've said there were a few different kinds of book views. There was the well, there were the uh, dictionaries, commentaries, books, maps, and graphics. Well, and you also have your custom. Uh, uh, module sets all right but but in the word version 4 we've also got a new module type called reading plans and that will also appear in the book view window okay so there we have it um, over here in the uh, the menu to the left here the list like you can see here the the um, calendar view I can click on each month to see uh, to jump ahead to see what I'm going to be reading in a month um, I can also bring up a list view which which now changes from the calendar view to a list view and that um, might be a bit more uh, easy for some people to read as well. So um, there you have it. So that's the calendar view and list view of a Bible reading plan, a chronological Bible reading plan set for one year. And as you can see, just showing you how this will work actually, if I go back to, if I want to go to today's reading for example, I can right click and go to today's reading and uh, here we are Genesis 1 1 to 3 now I click on there it takes me to Genesis 1 and you can see here in the now in the Bible view there's a little green flag uh, next to the big at the top of the beginning of that particular session so 8 to the 12th 2014 is the session start date and the red green flag is there and as I go through um, that session I sh it says to me Genesis 1 1 to 3 so I can go through to chapter 2 as you can see, you can read through chapter 2 and go to the next chapter, chapter 3. And as I come to the end of the chapter, there's a red flag saying stop the reading. And when I'm done, I just click done there. I can also just close that if I want to close the reading. Um, but if I want to see it again, I can just click over here to bring it open again. When I'm done, I click done. And as you can see, the uh, dialogue, the um, radio box is checked now. Uh, the checkbox here with an arrow in it, meaning that I've, that reading is completed. Now, as I complete the reading, something interesting happens in another uh, view here. Let me just click a few readings here. And you can see now, down here in a another uh, view, let me just bring this up a bit so you can get a bit more of the window there, stats and actions. You can see here a little pie chart. And that pie chart, what's in red, I haven't yet read. In my reading plan but what's in green are the, are the amount of the Bible uh, that I've read based on all those sessions that I've gone through okay that I've clicked as that I've checked as being done so it's just a nice graphical view of how much of the Bible you've gone through and how much you've got to go you can also let's say you've missed a couple of days or a couple of weeks um, maybe you want to catch up so you can if you fall behind on your schedule you can shift the reading so, so that you start today with the first unread session all right today's reading might be the 8th of 12th but let's say I've got a reading from last month well I want to start the reading session from last month today so I can just hit catch up and that will move everything forward to today okay and this other one here if I've gone so far behind I might simply just want to restart the plan I can do that by clicking this button here to restart the plan and everything kicks back into sync with it was day zero and sessions session is now at the current date uh, session one is at the current date and hence the pie chart now shows all red meaning nothing's unread so um, that's just a nice little uh, graphical interface for stats and some actions you can do with your reading plan so there you have it um, that's a basic setup of a cut of a 
rather of a predefined reading plan. Next time we're going to go through the customized reading plan. So I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, take care and enjoy your study of the word through the word.